subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button good evening welcome to south asia news line i'm yeshi chonzo Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 16th of November. Indian Prime Minister Modi launches 341 km long Purvanchal Expressway calls it pride of Uttar Pradesh state. Pakistan government calls parliament's joint session claims support of allies on electoral reforms. And 13-year-old Indian girl scales Mount Kilimanjaro aims to climb all seven summits before 2024. And now for all the details. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday afternoon launched the 340 km Purvanchal Expressway that also has an air strip in northern Uttar Pradesh state. Shortly after, he landed in an Air Force C-130J Super Hercules aircraft on the highway. The expressway is aimed at giving a boost to the economic development of the eastern part of the state. PM Modi said, "This is the expressway to the state's development and will show the way to a new Uttar Pradesh." Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Tuesday inaugurated the 341 km 6-lane Purvanchal Expressway in Sultanpur district of Northern Uttar Pradesh state after landing on the highway air strip in an Indian Air Force C130J Hercules plane. The Purvanchal Express, which is one of the biggest completed infrastructure projects by the Uttar Pradesh government, has been built as the carrier of development to the underdeveloped Purvanchal region. The expressway will traverse through nine districts of Uttar Pradesh and will also connect important cities like Varanasi, Ayodhya, Gorakhpur, and Allahabad through link roads. The air strip on the expressway will enable landing and take off of IAF fighter planes in case of emergency. Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the inauguration event said the Purvanchal Expressway is the symbol of Uttar Pradesh development and will strengthen its economy. ये एक्सप्रेसवे यूपी में आधुनिक होती सुविधाओं का प्रतिबिंब है एक्सप्रेसवे यूपी की दृढ़ इच्छा शक्ति का पुनित प्रगतिकरण है एक्सप्रेसवे यूपी में संकल्पों की सिद्धि का जीता जागता प्रमाण है PM Modi also launched a blistering attack on opposition parties and said the previous governments in Uttar Pradesh led by them reduced the state's vital eastern part to mafiawad and poverty but the BJP government is now writing a new chapter of development As assembly elections draw closer in the state there has been a tug of war over the project former chief minister and samajwadi party president akhilesh yadav accused bharatiya janata party of trying to claim credit for his government's work the inauguration event also saw mirage 2000 and su30 mki aircraft make multiple takeoffs and landings at the emergency air strip Indian Air Force presented a thrilling air show along the landing strip on Purvanchal Expressway. The Indian government on Tuesday announced it has decided to reopen cross-border Kartarpur Sahib Pilgrim Corridor from November 17, which was closed in March 2020 owing to COVID-19 pandemic. A border crossing pact between India and Pakistan allows visa-free access to Indian pilgrims to visit Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib in Pakistan. This comes ahead of the birth anniversary of Sikhism's founder Guru Nanak Dev on Friday. India's Interior Minister Amit Shah on Tuesday announced on Twitter that Prime Minister Narendra Modi-led government has decided to reopen the Kartarpur Sahib corridor from November 17, which has been closed since March 2020 owing to the COVID-19 pandemic. 
The nearly three-mile-long Kartarpur corridor made in 2019 by the joint efforts of India and Pakistan links religiously historical town of Dera Baba Nanak in India's Punjab state to Gurdwara Kartarpur Sahib, the final resting place of Sikhism's founder Guru Nanak Dev in Pakistan. Several leaders, including members of influential DSGMC, Delhi's Sikh Gurdwara Management Committee, welcomed the move by the Indian government. बहुत ही मुबारक मौका है कि कॉरिडोर दोबारे खुल रहा सिखा कॉम दी जोड़ी अर्दास है वो पूरी हो रही है मैं बतौर मुख्यमंत्री प्रधानमंत्री जी के होम मिनिस्टर उन्होंने अनुमति मिलन गया सी खास तौर पे ये बेंती की थी सी कि उन्होंने कॉरिडोर खोलने का लान की था मैं उन्हें दा बड़ा तालवाद कर दा ये हम सब के लिए बहुत बड़ी खबर भी और बड़ी खुशी की बात भी है क्योंकि लगभग पौने दो साल बाद ये संभव होने जा रहा है जहां अब संगत बिना वीजे के गुरु नानक देव पाशा जी के उस महान स्थान करतारपुर साहब के दर्शन कर पाएगी a border crossing pact between India and Pakistan allows visa-free access to Indian pilgrims to visit the holy site. The major development comes ahead of birth anniversary of Guru Nanak Dev on November 19. In news from Pakistan. Pakistan's Information Minister Fawad Chaudhry has informed that the ruling PTI government will convene a joint sitting of parliament on Wednesday to get electoral reform bills passed after gaining support of its allies. This comes as the joint opposition announced on Monday it will counter the government on the controversial legislation and on the issue of soaring inflation in the country. Pakistan's ruling PTI government has finally decided to convene a joint sitting of parliament on Wednesday to get controversial electoral reform bills passed after gaining support of its allies. Information Minister Fawad Chaudhry said Prime Minister Imran Khan convened a meeting of the government allies including Mutahida Qaumi Movement and Pakistan Muslim League Q on Monday and claimed all reservations including those related to EVMs and giving voting rights to overseas Pakistanis had been addressed. However, reports suggested the allies were still uncertain. This is the decision of the parliament that the parliament is the decision of वो बुध के दिन दो बजे दोपहर जो है वो तलब किया जाएगा और इन्शाल्लाह ताला ये जो सारा इलेक्टोरल रिफॉर्म्स के बिल हैं ये वहाँ पे जाएंगे और तमाम इतिहादी इनके पीछे खड़े this comes as multi-party opposition alliance Pakistan Democratic Movement on Monday held a virtual meeting and decided to challenge the controversial electoral bills in the Supreme Court and ramp up its ongoing countrywide protests over soaring inflation. Amid an economic crisis, the Pakistani rupees last week slid to 174 against the US dollar, losing 1.12 rupees. Prices of all daily needs have soared to all-time high, drawing condemnation and large-scale protests against the government. Moving on, scores of local contractors in the illegally occupied region of Pakistan-administered Kashmir held a protest over known payment of dues and government's apathy towards them. They claim despite their rigorous efforts in building various projects in far-flung areas, the government is not paying them their dues, which has made their lives miserable. Local contractors in Pakistan administered Kashmir held a protest recently over the non-payment of their dues and claimed their voices were not being heard by the government in the illegally occupied region. The protesters said they completed several projects with hard-earned money after the 2005 deadly earthquake and blamed they have still not been paid the dues by the government-appointed Pakistani firms. They also demanded the regularization as Class A category contractors by the government. When the fund came, when the bill came, our local contractor Pakistan has been working on the first time. Today, our local contractor is working for the money. For 16 years, it has been 16 years. We are not getting money. कंट्रैक्टर अपने जेब से पैसे लगा के दूर दराज इलाकों में काम कर रहे हैं और यहाँ पे गवर्नमेंट अपने मालूम में बैठी हुई आराम और सुकून एंजॉय कर रही है 
The protesters accuse Islamabad of meting out a stepmotherly treatment to the illegally occupied region and warned they would shut down all ongoing projects if their voices are not heard. Afghanistan is one of the most vulnerable countries in the world to climate change and experts say drought, flood and extreme weather are set to worsen. As winter approaches, Afghans living on mountain sites in capital Kabul say they are worried about the usual flood waters that goes into their houses during winter months. Afghans living on mountain sites in capital Kabul said they are worried about the usual flood waters that goes into their houses during winter months. In the last two decades, hundreds of houses have been illegally built on top of mountains and mountain slopes in Kabul, which most of the residents of these houses are facing serious problems such as flood waters and lack of clean water and proper roads. <laughs> Afghanistan ranks among the countries most at risk of and least prepared for climate linked threats, according to an index compiled by the Notre Dame Global Adaptation Initiative. UN agencies say droughts are likely to become the norm in Afghanistan by 2030. Agriculture in South Asia has depended on the annual monsoon for centuries, but intense rains and floods in the region also cause devastation and billions of dollars in damage every year. Moving on to news from Bangladesh. Hindu devotees in Bangladesh celebrated Rakhir Ubash, a religious fasting festival, by lighting oil lamps, candles and burning incense. The festival is held on every Saturday and Tuesday during the last 15 days of Bangla month of Kartik. Every Hindu devotee is gathered in front of Sri Sri Lokhenad Brahmachari Ashram Temple for the religious festival. Loknath Brahmachari, who is called Baba Loknath, was an 18th century Hindu saint and philosopher in Bengal. Hindu worshippers fast and pray in earnest to the gods for blessings and good health during the traditional ritual called Kartik Brati or Rakhir Upabash. A 13-year-old girl from southern India recently scaled Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa and the highest single freestanding mountain in the world. The young mountaineer says, she is now aiming to climb the rest of all the seven summits in the world before 2024. A 13 year old girl from India's southern Hyderabad city recently scaled the Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest mountain in Africa known for its snow capped peaks, and now aims to climb all seven summits before 2024. Muruki Pulakita Hasvi expressed her happiness and said, Scaling the mountain, which is a dormant volcano at 5,895 meters, was an adventurous experience. She said Mount Kilimanjaro is such a mountain where you experience all the weather conditions and she did yoga and meditation to keep herself mentally strong. Summer and then it uh, slowly goes to the deserted area and then it slowly goes uh, it goes rainy and then it goes snowy so that's like all you experience all the weathers there were actually seven uh, seven people con uh, are in our group uh, including the coach uh, including the coach so uh, in that three people had given up they were going down so I had to make a quick decision to you know to go down or to go up I was given an option to go down or go up but then I changed that option into a decision and you know decisions matter for life the way she was telling about the experience and all that we were horrified you know the video she shared it was all windy dusty fog you know, lots of climatic uh, changes she could see 
While she doesn't advise all her younger friends to choose mountaineering, Hasvi says conquering mountain in life, that is facing life's challenges head on, is the key to success. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianNewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash AsiaNewsline and follow us on Twitter at AsiaNewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.